Well, well, well. Sorry about that interruption. Uh, the screen went to video pause, and then it ended my feed. So, it automatically ended my feed. So, that sucks, but we did talk to him. Shared some truth, and uh, just encouraged him to look elsewhere. We have a couple more bags of M&Ms available. So, we're back at the corner where we have experienced some signal loss, but we don't usually experience any signal loss. So, maybe what I was talking to him about was a little bit too touchy for Facebook. I don't know. But it is, it does get annoying though, having interruptions. But we'll just keep on pressing on. It's not going to detour me. So you're not going to you're not going to stop me. Just to let you know. But so we got some more M and M's. We're going to walk over here to these ladies and see because I got I got people that you know watch me, and I figure if they watch me, then I'll come over and introduce myself. <clears throat> Hey guys, how you doing? Good, how about you? Not too bad. I wonder if you wanted to be part of like a little social experiment type of deal. Um, I do have a prize at the end. I've seen you on campus. Oh, you time. have? Yeah, I've heard you talking to people. Great. I respect your opinion. Okay. I've never seen a satellite, so I don't know. <laughs> right? Like, yeah, neither have I, man. I just don't. I'm just trying to enjoy my day. Yeah. Thank you for the, the offering. Though. Not a problem, man. Yeah. Research it, though. Flat Earth, all right? Wake you up. Yeah, have a good one, man. <clears throat> so we are prevalent. That's good. People hear me. People know what I'm about. Let's see. Let's walk around. Let's walk around. So, yeah, the last... I was on for, like, what? What was that? 15 minutes at that? And then my feed got cut. So... It's going to be a little more intentional. I got these uh, bags of M&M's burning a hole in my pocket, so... Hey, how's it going? Good. Good. I was just uh, in the area. I'm just kind of doing a social experiment. I was wondering if you could help me out. Sure. Okay. Maybe like five, ten minutes of your time. So what do you, um, what do you think of this statement here? Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. That's yeah. that was my first reaction too to something like this. But what would kind of lean you towards this being crazy and untrue? Like, what is some evidence that you have? Uh, besides classes and the sense that satellites are sort of just defined as anything that's revolving around the Earth, and that's a thing that exists. Okay. It makes sense. I mean, that's what we're told. And why would the authority lie to us, right? So, I guess my point is, uh, does this look like a picture of a real satellite to you? Uh, looks a little... I don't know, it's been a while since I've seen an actual one, but yes, it seems realistic. Realistic. What does that mean? Uh, can I ask, are you filming me, I assume? Yeah. The camera? Yep. Yeah. I'm just trying to work on schoolwork, so... Sure. Is that the, the whole prompting is, is Well, like actually, are real? no, it, it, I mean, if you're saying that this looks like a realistic satellite, this is actually CGI. So this is a picture of a real satellite. At least that's what they tell us. But where is it? The satellite in that picture? Yes. Well, 
Well, on the ground. Okay, it's on the ground. So this may or may not have been done by a bunch of college students after Milwaukee's best weekend, right? But then when they put it in the air, it's CGI'd in space. So did you know that if you use your laptop right now to Google image satellites in space, all you get are CGI images. And then when you Google image Earth from space, all you get are CGI images. Not really. Yeah, really, I'm sorry, but that's true. I wouldn't be here confidently being able to tell everybody here that everything NASA gives us is CGI. Well, as long as you're confident about it, sure. you have a good time telling everyone who listens. Okay, Does, have you ever seen the ISS? Not in person, no. Okay, have you ever seen it live stream? I've seen photos from inside of it. Okay. Did you know, do you know what a vomit comet is? Only in relation to roller coasters. Okay, so a vomit comet is a huge airplane that you and I could probably go pay a couple hundred bucks, and what it does is it simulates zero-g gravity. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah, I've heard of it. Okay, so... Do you think it could be possible that our government would ever put a set of what they tell us the inside of the ISS looks like inside of a vomit comet to simulate zero-g gravity during their live streams? I'm going to go with no. That would never cross your mind? No. No. It didn't for me until you actually start watching it a little bit and you see some inconsistencies with how they feel and how the video feels. I mean... I'm not like the best at telling a liar from a person who tells the truth, but when I watch NASA live streams, I feel like that's just emitting lies, and they're being fraudulent with what they're doing. Well, you just admitted you're not the best at telling that. Yeah, I'm not. I, I'm not perfect, and I don't have all the answers, but I do know for a fact that we don't win, live on a wet spinning ball rocket hurtling millions of miles through space, because water doesn't curve. Statements. Yeah. Do you believe that water curves like in gravity and like it becomes a ball? Yeah. You've never seen water droplets? Okay. So that proves that the oceans are flat or a curve. An individual water droplet yeah. being round that demonstrates cohesion. Okay. The water clings to itself and that's what forms it. Cause it Okay, so when you're when you're on the ocean and you're looking to the horizon, do you see a curve like on your left and your right? Because if we live on a ball, to the left and to the right should be curved too, not just in front of you, right? I, this is taking a different turn. So you're saying yeah. the earth is flat? I may or may not be saying that, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Have you ever looked into that kind of uh, idea? <laughs> uh, just, I'm not a science major, but from a history standpoint, that certainly has cropped up and yeah. proven wrong. It's been proven wrong. How has it been proven wrong, in your opinion? Uh, they mathematically figure it out based off of the changing in shadows on obelisks and that sort of thing. Okay. And you, you believe what they're telling you about that? Do I believe in shadows? Yes. No, I mean, do you believe that their research led them to tell you that the Earth is a ball? Formulas and that sort of thing for, you know, if you have a rounded item, uh, sorry, not a rounded item, if you have an obelisk in one set of the Earth and an obelisk nearby, but a significant distance away, at the same period of time, their shadows are going to be facing different things, which would imply that the sun and the light is reacting on them differently, which would mean that they weren't level, which would prove that the Earth is round. Hmm. So I believe that logic. Okay. Are you familiar with the the equation 8 inches per mile squared? Uh, not at the top of my head, no. Okay. It's actually quite fascinating because there are some videos and pictures of people who took video and pictures of Mount Rainier from 149 miles away from their position. And with that amount of curvature, there should be about 15,000 feet of curvature. So that mountain... 149 miles away should not be able to be viewed from the ocean sea level to the other side. So you believe that 
satellites can be faked significantly enough, but not a picture like that. I believe that when a person is innocent and then they picture something, and we look back to it and find out where they were when they took that picture, and we find out the distance between that point and the object that they're looking at, I think that that leads to just as much credibility as any science book here would have to say. Can I ask you a question? Sure, I'd love it, yeah. Um, what are you hoping to get out of these sorts of interviews and questions? Uh, just to let people know on an individual basis that we're being lied to from NASA about outer space and where we come from. Because we don't live on a spinning wet ball rocket that they tell us through, like I was talking to a gentleman over there who watches the Discovery Channel and that's where he gets most of his ideas about outer space. Mm -hmm. So I'm just trying to give you an alternative answer and eventually the consciousness of this area will lead into investigating the fraudulent company that is NASA. So your position is less you speaking from a sense of authority and more of you prompting people to go seek out more information on their own? Yeah. Um, do you ever consider the idea that instead of bringing a picture, you should spend time on your own becoming that authority and learning yep. yourself as to, hard to articulate that instead of prompting just random questions and hoping that they'll be curious enough to continue? Isn't that part of getting somebody interested in learning? Because I'm face to face with you. Would you ever go to a, a flat earth blog or Flat Earth Hangout or anything like that that has anything to do with Flat Earth or CGI NASA? To be honest, I'm not sure this conversation is intriguing me to learn more about Flat Earth. Hey, that's, and that's your opinion. But we are here, and I'm taking up five to ten minutes of your life mm -hmm. to tell you that you will now be held accountable for what you do with the information. Whether I present it in a Bill Nye the Science Guy type of way to attract you to do it, or I do it in, in a way that is urgent and that you should look into it because we're being lied to about where we live and if you were to come to me and say and to think that I didn't grow up in public education like you did then that's a false assumption because I used to think the same way two years ago and people had to lead me to information such as this that we live on a geocentric area and not a heliocentric area okay. well I hope this has been rather amusing for me. Good, I'm I glad. You have I, I hope that um, got what you wanted from sure. trying to communicate this. Do you like M&Ms? I'm good, thank you. You're good? Okay, yeah. sure. So, if you could... A strangers thing, sort of a red flag. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, well, you're funny, that's for sure. Yeah. So, if you want, you can lo go on your laptop and look up satellites from in space and the Earth from space, and it's all CGI. So if you believe everything that they tell us in your school books about outer space, you've been warned, okay? So, have a good afternoon. Thanks. <clears throat> Don't want to take candy from strangers, she says. That's hilarious. Wait, you're telling me that everything I see is fake? I'm doing my homework. Please leave me alone, right? This guy looks like he wants to be talked to. How's it going, man? I was just uh, walking around the park here, doing a little bit of a social experiment. I was wondering if you wanted to take part for a minute. Oh, I'm doing fine, man. Okay. Enjoying sitting here. Sure. Yeah. All right. Well, just want to let you know that there is a movement called Flat Earth. Okay, and I just encourage you to check it out and just kind of have an open mind to an alternative viewpoint of where we live. Sounds good. All right, man. Here See you. Yeah. Yep. When I was coming in here, I ran across a couple of Mormon girls that I ran across from earlier the other day, and they were out doing their thing, 
Gave him a couple of bags of M&Ms. <laughs> Hanging out with hammocks. Still a lot of kids here. A lot of kids were graduating today too. Graduating, moving out of the church that is the University of Minnesota. So, we'll see what these girls are doing. Bug them. Hey girls, Hi. how you doing? Good. I'm just walking around the park doing a little social experiment. Yeah. I was wondering if you might be able to help me out and I could give you a prize at the end. Um, how long is it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, like five minutes. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's not fine. a bit, not too much of your time. But I'm just trying to get an understanding of what people think about this this statement here. Satellites don't, satellites don't exist. Satellites do not exist. Um, yeah, I think that's wrong. They do exist. Okay. You think the same way? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What, are, what is like some evidence that you've come across in your life to prove to you that satellites exist? Well, you can see them in the sky moving. In, okay. In the like radars and stuff and like the weather channel, like how do they get that information? Like how do they know what the weather is going to be if they don't know so. Sure. Okay. It makes sense. I mean, so what about this picture though? This is a picture of a satellite in space. What does it look like to you? <laughs> Why is it me? <laughs> Are you, is, is this like a, um, like you're disproving it somehow? Well, I mean, if you follow me a little bit, mm -hmm. I can lead you to the water and maybe you'll be thirsty and, and drink, but does this look like a picture of a real satellite in space? Um, no. Okay. But, I mean... I still think satellites exist. Okay, so even though if you Google image right now satellites in space, all you get are CGI images. So this is just one of dozens. Okay, so what does this look like a picture of? Um, solar panels. Solar panels, yeah. Does this look like a satellite before it's being launched? Maybe? Maybe. Yeah. Okay. But it's on the ground, right? Yeah. So it's on the ground, and this is a satellite that they tell us is a satellite, but then this is a satellite being in space, but it's CGI. Okay. So can I just show you one more thing? Sure. Um, what, um, what's the size of America here? You can look at it, because I'd really like to get a good, honest opinion. pictures yeah those are two pictures those are pictures from NASA mm -hmm. yep those are on their official website but even if it is at a different angle the one on the right doesn't the US pretty much cover the entire surface area so what do you think um, the left one or the right one Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, it's if I like don't see it. Like, yeah, it's hard. Life, it's sure. Like, I, I don't know. Yeah. I'm going <laughs> to trust professionals that know what they're doing. Okay. Of, they are professionals because this looks like right. a real picture, right? Right. But this is also CGI. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when you go see a Pixar movie or Guardians of the Galaxy two, is that a real is that a real thing that's happening in front of you? No. Okay. CGI, right? Yeah. Okay, so do you see how Hollywood and NASA are tricking our minds to make us believe that CGI is real? Could that be a possibility? Uh, yeah, but I I still trust like my observation through like traveling across the country, you know, because okay. I can actually see it. Yeah. Um, I mean, I wouldn't, I can't say something 100% unless I'm in space and I can see it. Right. But um, I'm going to trust their judgment. I, there's a lot of funding. I mean, there's a lot of, like, conspiracy and stuff, but I think that um, for right now, I, I think it's, it's true. Okay. 
Have you ever seen the ISS live stream before? Uh, no. No? I highly encourage you girls, get some pizza. <laughs> you know, they got five or six streams right now with thousands of people watching it. Okay? They're official live streams of the ISS going over what they tell us is Earth. I've watched it for hours at a time. I know it doesn't sound like a lot of fun, but I want to be able to confidently say that I've never seen a satellite during that entire hours of watching the ISS go around the Earth. And so when I tell people that, they say, well, the Earth is too big for you to see a satellite during that period of time. But you just got done telling me that you see satellites all the time up in the sky, right? So, do you see that there may be some inconsistencies with what they're showing us on television or computer monitors yeah, and I what mean, we I really like experience? Yeah, just in general, like, can say whatever they want, it might not be accurate, but... Sure. I mean, visually, when I see something moving, like, that's, that's going to be a satellite. Okay, um, can I pique your interest that NASA has a bigger balloon program than they do shuttle program? So, like, they launch balloons, which may or may not have communication purposes on them, all the time. And they most recently did it in April of 20, uh, the 25th of April, just a couple of weeks ago. And it's a hundred, like, a hundred yards long, and it may or may not have communication to it. And it was launched in New Zealand. Did you know about that launch? No. No. But that's the thing, is they don't tell us that they're doing those things. They just make shuttle launches a big deal. Yeah. So it's just something to think about. That yeah. what you see in the sky that's quote blinking may or may not be a drone or a balloon. You know? I guess that's fair, but So um, just one last thing. Um, what about this guy? I know it might not make sense right now, but maybe later it will. Do you understand that term? Truth, truth hidden in plain sight? Yeah. So the UN flag might be a representation of a flat earth map. And the one on the left may or may not be a picture of a flat earth. Now whether you want to say like Antarctica is the outside ring keeping all the water in, we haven't been there so we don't know. But I can tell you 100% I am surely confident that we do not live on a wet spinning ball rocket flying through space. That and it's how would you explain like the tilt and like the different like seasons? What tilt? Tilt like the seasons, yeah. Yeah, the tilt of the earth. Which that that does like the seasons and like why it's different. Sure. Like, the different, yeah. Like how do you explain those? Are you like are you wild. can I can I just say something bluntly and maybe get a response so that you might understand where I'm coming from about the tilt? Mm -hmm. Do you know what the remaining number of the tilt is? No, 666. So there's 66.6 .6 degrees left after that tilt. You Christian girls? Yeah. Okay, so you're somewhat familiar with what 666 means? Yeah. So they didn't come up with that number randomly, that that's the remainder of what the tilt is. And so if you actually look at this map, okay, so picture a pizza, and on that you have a pepperoni, okay? So the pepperoni would be closer to the North Pole, which is the white in the middle. And when you see it circling around that, that's where we get our summer months. So the pepperoni is going to spin around that center mass, and then as it becomes winter and colder out, the pepperoni is going to spin around the pizza towards the edge. Does that make sense? That's how we have our seasons. So it's not because of the tilt, it's actually because the sun is moving and earth is stationary. And it actually tells you that in God's word. That the earth is immovable. And so the sun and the moon are actually localized lights that you read about in 1st and 2nd Genesis. That they're not physical objects, they're actually lights in the sky. So when they tell you that the sun illuminates the moon, that's a lie because people have seen the moon and the sun out at the same time next to each other. So how could that be? So it's just, I know it's new information, you know, and you're probably, it's a weekend, you don't really want to think, but 
can I just really encourage you to check out like the concept and the idea of a flat earth and geocentricity? Yeah, I mean, it might not come up now. Yeah, sure. But I just really encourage you girls just to start understanding that we're not being told everything that they do hide knowledge from us and that this is one of those things that this community and this movement is becoming bigger and bigger and we're just looking for answers you know so whether you want to hang out and you know I mean I just would really encourage you just to check out the information so so here's your uh, your prize M&Ms uh, thanks. so I really appreciate you ladies yeah. hanging out and listening and you know what I have to say have a good afternoon thanks All right. So we got one more bag of M&Ms left. No, we got two. We got two bags. So I got to find two people to talk to. And it'll be a short episode today. And then we'll enjoy the rest of the day. Thanks everybody for stopping by. We're downtown, Dinky Town, University of Minnesota just sharing knowledge and truth with people the earth is flat check it out <clears throat> see if we can find two people to talk to here at the end that's a Siberian Husky my sister has a Siberian Husky her name is Stormy those are such beautiful dogs. I used to have one long, long time ago. Her name was Kaya. And during a winter, she she got out of the... I mean, you're keeping a Siberian Husky in a trailer court. So, I mean, go figure, right? What does she want to do? She wants to run, right? And so she took off during a winter, and I cried, tried to find her. Then we moved on. So we're just gonna walk around here. We talked to him earlier. Hmm. Not really. Oh, you know what? Where I could go? No, that's too much of a walk. Just gonna walk around and like shuffle the deck here so we can get some new people to talk to. <coughs> Hope you guys have something planned tomorrow for your mom. Go out to eat. It's supposed to be just as beautiful tomorrow as it is today. Even more so, I think. See if we can just hang out at the corner where the uh, a lot of kids go back and forth. So we just got to get rid of these two more bags of M&Ms and just call it a day. Maybe I can talk to this young lady on the other side of the fence here. Talk to a group of two people or just one person here and one person there. <clears throat> yeah, she looks like she wants to be bothered, so let's go talk to her. I like hitting them with the uh, satellites aren't real though, that's always good. It's basically blasphemy. <clears throat> it's blasphemy to tell people satellites do not exist. <clears throat> Scare this poor girl. 
Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? I'm doing great, actually. It's really nice out today. Yeah. Um, I was wondering if you got, like, a couple minutes I could bother you to do a social experiment for a second? Uh, sure. Okay. Um, well, I'm just kind of walking around getting people's interaction with this statement here. Okay. What do you think about it? Um, I disagree with it. Okay. Most do. Yeah. I used to, also. Yeah. What are some things that make your subconscious disagree with the statement? Um, I guess, like, proof that, like, pictures in satellites and the space and stuff like that, like, pictures from space, so it kind of makes me believe, like, satellites are real and, you know, we've seen pictures of satellites and that's kind of what we've grown up learning. Yeah, um, makes sense, right? Yeah. Have you ever seen one with your own physical eyes? No. Okay. So, faith? Faith? Like, religion? Yeah. No, I mean, like, you're kind of basing your fa your idea on mm -hmm. faith, right? Yeah. So you haven't seen it with your own physical eyes, but you believe that they exist, right? Right. There's a lot I haven't seen with my own eyes. Indeed. Though. So there's that. Yeah. So what about this picture? Does this look like a picture of a real satellite? Um, what I'm, like, aware of, yeah. Okay. I'm not super familiar with satellites. Sure. Can I just have you, like, look it over for a second so I can get your real honest opinion about what it what it looks like? Yeah. Kind of right. On it. Yeah, that's. And like solar panels. Like that's yep. So on the other side, how about the other side? Yeah. What about that guy? Solar panels. Also the cables kind of thing, yeah. Sure. I guess. That one's a little more weird looking. Yeah, so I mean, that could be a satellite, but where is that satellite? Here. It's on the ground. Right. Right, because of the trees and stuff? Yep. Okay, so that may or may not have been a satellite that a bunch of college kids did after Miller Lite. Did they put that together? Um, I'm not familiar with that. <laughs> Well, I mean, you have a good time over the weekend. You make, you know, a, rep a representation of a satellite, and there it is. Mm -hmm. But if you flip it over again, that's actually a CGI image of a satellite in space. Yeah. And did you know that if you Google image satellites in space, all you get are CGI mm -hmm. images? Uh, because it says it when I downloaded it. Yeah, this is actually Viasat. This is a satellite that has yet to be released and brought out until June 1st. So on the caption on the bottom, it says this is a CGI, basically. Right, like that's what it's look like. a, a rendered image. Yeah. And so I guess my next question is like when you see like lights in the sky, like at night, what do you think that those things are? So, right, but the one, uh, yeah, that's yeah. cute. <laughs> Mostly stars. I don't ever think about satellites. Honestly. Sure, like yeah. things that move. Like if you saw a light moving in the sky pretty gingerly, would you assume that that's? I guess. A satellite. Maybe a plane. Sure. Yeah, something like that. I okay. Guess. Did you know that NASA has a significantly larger balloon program than they do of any other program that they've ever had? What kind of balloon? Like balloons, like, like weather, communication. Okay. Okay you know, different relay points and stuff. Yeah. So they just released one in April of the 25th in New Zealand. It's about the size of a football field. Okay. And that may or may not have communication purposes to it. Right. So just a thought that that light in the sky that you see at night might actually be a balloon or a drone. Okay. Yeah, it could, yeah I would think drone too. They're, sure. They're, like Those, they're new. Yeah. So just this with this question here, how about that? What is the size of America? I mean, just check it out. Right. Yeah. Just, I want your honest opinion about, about what you think is uh, the size of America. Like, is this right? Like, are these pictures the right size of America? Well, when you get them from NASA, you certainly hope so, right? Right. So these are pictures from NASA. Right. I feel like I've heard that, like, countries always look bigger, or, like, continents always look bigger, like, on yeah. the planet pictures than they actually are. Right. Heard that before, so yep. that's interesting. Yeah. yeah. So, which one would you like if if it came down to it, and I had like I don't know a bag of M and M's to give you? <laughs> which, Probably this one. The, the left. One. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So that guy right there. Yeah. Um, so that's what I thought too, and I actually had this on my computer. Right. It's the blue marble. Yeah, it looks like what I've seen more, like more commonly, like that looks what I've seen. Yeah. Now, I 
And uh, these are actually both CGI. Okay. So. So it's like not even a picture. So this is not even real. Nope. Okay. This is it's a computer. Kind of like a what it might look like, what it could look like. Could it maybe? I don't know. Right. You know, they admit on their website that they do Photoshop their images. Yeah. Because they have to be. I don't know what that means. But if I was to take a picture of you, right. and send it to somebody, and then they knew who you were, they'd be like, yeah, that's her. But if I was to take a picture of you, Photoshop it, and then send it to somebody who had never met you before, right? right? They'd, be like, I don't know. They, they'd be like, yeah, sure, okay. And then I bring you to see them. This Then they would respond maybe, I don't know, this doesn't look anything like the person that you showed me. Right. So you're lying to me. And I think that that's kind of what this is. Because okay. we've never seen the earth. But all we get are digital representations of what they tell us Earth looks like. What it could look like. Yeah. Sure. And I just think they're lying to us. Okay. That's my basic, yeah. Right. So, on the other side I have, kind of what I'm trying to do here, is inform the public that we have truth hidden in plain sight. And that the UN flag may or may not be a representation of a flat Earth. The UN flag. That's a massive organization, right? Mm -hmm. That has a flat earth map. Yeah, but also, yeah, I guess you could say that. I don't know. It's a coincidence. I mean, right. you know, so can I give you an idea of like seasons? Because if you think of flat earth, you're like, well, how do the seasons work? True. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the earth is immovable. It doesn't move. Okay. So I know it's hard to think of the earth as a ball. But try to think of it as like a pizza, for example, okay? So we're looking down on a pizza, and the crust is Antarctica, so that's where you get your image there. Okay. And you see in the middle, that's north, the North Pole, right. the white, okay? So if you think of a pizza, grab a pepperoni, and just start going in a circle with that pepperoni closest towards the North Pole. That's where we get our summers, okay? okay. Does that make sense? Kind of, yeah. I know it's new information, so it might not make sense now. Right. But as you start to spin it more and more towards the crust, mm -hmm. as an outer, quote, orbit, right? Right. It will create our winters. Okay. Yep. Because it'd be farther away. Yeah, it would be further away. Yeah. Okay. So does that make sense in right. terms of, like, the seasons? Yeah, it could. Could, right. yeah. So this idea is actually geocentrism. Just, you know, the earth is immovable. The sun and the moon move around us. Okay. And as an earth, we do not move around the sun. Okay. So the people who came up with the heliocentric model, mm -hmm. they're actually sun worshippers. Right, technically, yeah. Right? Yeah. So they want the sun, the sun is, is the center, right? And so, yeah, I just, I thought I'd want to come by and just share that information with you and encourage you to check out like flat earth information and okay. geocentricity sounds good yeah, yeah cause, that's actually interesting I haven't ever heard of that before yeah so. um, and I do like live broadcasts on Facebook my name is Joshua Swift social experiment okay. my stuff will come right up and I do this I try to do this every other day daily or so yeah. but cool. so but here's your uh, your prize Ooh, there you are else. yeah you. yeah you're welcome what's your name Ashlyn Ashlyn I'm Joshua Real great to meet you too. All right, well, have fun in your finals and Thanks. studies. Yeah, I just finished. So All right, much. great. Yeah. Have a good day. Okay. Thanks. Boom. Just <laughs> waking people up. One mind at a time. One mind at a time. Maybe we can hang out here at this corner and uh, feel people out and approach them with some flat earth truth.
Maybe I can share my M&Ms with these girls. <laughs> hey, ladies. How you doing? Good. Good. I'm just uh, in the park. Doing a little social experiment, getting an opinion of the students. Can I take like two or three minutes of your time? We were just gonna fall asleep. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'm good. But You're good? Okay. Sure. Hey, oh, I don't wanna be videotaped. You don't wanna be videotaped? Yeah. Did you know that they videotape you right out there in the intersection? Yeah. It is? Yeah. What about when they videotape you with your phone? And the no, selfie phone. So, yeah, I'll respect your privacy, but did you know that in Minnesota that you can actually openly be viewed and videotape without your consent? Um, so. It doesn't matter. So you're saying that you're going to videotape us anyway? No, I'll just walk away, okay. you know, because it doesn't seem like you're up to learning today. But can I just encourage you to check out Flat Earth information Probably. and that we don't live on a globe and all that? So, okay? Okay, thank you. Yeah, have a good afternoon. Thanks, you too. Friendly kids. When I came here, I saw a guy wearing a big NASA shirt, <laughs> but I wasn't, I wasn't ready to start filming, so I couldn't stop what I was doing. But I would have liked to. Would have been fun. So we'll just hang out here. See if we can get some interactions. He looks like somebody I've talked to before. Then again, a lot of these people that I see look familiar. Just got this last bag of M&Ms for whoever wants it. Whoever wants to be woke up. I would think that the Plus, we've kind of laid our mark here. A lot of kids walk by. They've seen me stand here before. Thought I was going to be able to get out of here real quick. We'll stand here for a couple minutes and then go back to the to the park and see if we can find a... Maybe we can go over there to that guy hanging on the hammock there. Oh. You guys a man? He is a man. Thanks for stopping by everybody. Appreciate you all hanging out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you have not researched yourself, Flat Earth, or Building 7, please wake up and just explore that idea. I know it's new. might make you feel uncomfortable to actually look at such information, but it is important. We are drawing lines in the sand, too, you know. A lot of us aren't taking this anymore, so... How you doing? Good, how about you? I can't complain, man. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, it is. Yeah? 
All right, let's go over to this guy. Or girl. I don't, really don't know who is over here, actually. But... Hey, how's it going? Good. <laughs> I'm doing well, thanks. I'm just uh, walking around the park, just trying to do a little social experiment and get an understanding from some students about this statement here. Do you got a minute? Sure. Okay. So what do you think about that statement there? Um, I think it's false. Okay. I think there are satellites. Okay. Huh. And what evidence do you feel like you could base your conclusions off of? Just things that I've seen on the internet, so like pictures sure. of satellites, like NASA and all the photos that they gather. Okay. Satellites. Yeah, makes sense. Mm -hmm. uh, what about this picture, though? Is this something similar that you've seen about satellites in space? I think so, but I, the two panels on the sides, like those two, yeah. I don't know. I don't okay. Know if I've seen that sure. One. Um, how about this guy here? Is that something similar? I don't. I haven't seen. Um, I haven't seen that whole apparatus before. Sure. But that looks like solar panels, and then those look familiar, but I haven't seen them. Okay, before. sure. <coughs> so with that being said, like, does this satellite look like it's in space, or where do you think it is? Not in space. Okay. Or like on top of a building or something? Okay, well, it might be on the ground, because the tree is right there. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so this may or may not have been done by a bunch of fifth graders, right? I mean, because it's on the ground. Uh -huh. It may or may not be a working model of a satellite, yeah. right? Uh -huh. But when they show us this, uh -huh. this is a CGI representation of a satellite in space. Okay. And if you Google image satellites in space right now on your mm -hmm. phone or laptop or whatever, all you get are CGI images. Okay. What is CGI? Uh, computer. So, so it's, it's computer like, graphics. Okay. Yeah, so like everything in regards to a satellite being in space and orbiting Earth mm -hmm is either taken from a third person perspective mm -hmm. and it's CGI mm -hmm. or it's this and it's on the ground and it probably isn't a working model. Okay. So does that kind of make sense? Like that's why I'm asking because if satellites were to exist, wouldn't you think that there would be real pictures of satellites, mm -hmm. not CGI? So then what about like all the pictures that we get from like outer space? Like yeah, I know that there are telescopes and everything and I know that they're making, NASA's making like a new huge uh, yeah. telescope, but uh, what about like everything from the perspective of the satellite? Not like a picture of the satellite, mm -hmm. but like from its perspective. Yeah, it's actually all CGI. Okay. Yeah. So they're, what Hollywood and NASA are trying to do is mm -hmm. they're trying to get us to distrust our own eyes in relation to what's real and what's CGI. So they're actually trying to blend the two together mm -hmm. so we can't discern the difference between the two, which is why movies are so awesome right now, right? Mm -hmm. Guardians of the Galaxy is loaded with CGI, but it's got real actors, makeup, costumes incorporated in with backdrops of mm -hmm. CGI and stuff, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So I guess with that being said, I have this picture here that I just would love for you to pick out which one of these two is the proper representation of America. You can check it out and have yeah. a closer look, yeah, you know, because... Any, like washed out or yeah and just well that's true because mm. yeah, this looks a lot more like air than this one mm -hmm. so it's like and this is the united states they're both official pictures from nasa okay. of where they tell us we live oh. and are they at like different times or is this just you know what i don't know to be honest with you but from what i see the one on the right just my own first glance at it when I was shown this information, yeah. America looks bigger than the one on the left. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? So, I just, I don't know, I, I feel uncomfortable being able to un think that that's where we live when all we get are CGI images. Yeah. 
Because that's just two of about a dozen photos since 1972 that are all CGI. So what do you think? I mean, if you were Sherlock Holmes and you saw a murder and you couldn't find the body and you couldn't find the murder weapon, what is like typically a result of somebody who's being accused of murder if they can't find the body and the murder weapon? Yeah, so my witness and personal testimony about where we live, it's all CGI. So, back to what I said at the beginning, satellites don't exist. Do you kind of see where I'm going? Like, if everything is CGI and we can't prove anything physically, how are we to know that satellites do really exist? You know? And considering that all of our communication done on Earth, 99%, is done through undersea cables from America to Europe and then it's all ground towers. Does that make sense? So like there are where do satellites fit in if all of our communication is done through fiber optics and ground towers? So I don't know. Um, with that being said I have this statement here. So the UN. Yeah, so just check it out. Hold on to it for a second. Yeah. And so if you hold it yeah. and you think, okay, flat earth, where do the seasons come in? Okay, so if you have the sun right here and it just spins around and it goes out, when it goes out, that's our winter months. Uh -huh. And when it comes in above us, that's our summer months. Mm -hmm. Kind of gives you a different perspective on, you know, how this Earth may be a stationary, immovable plane, and the Sun and the Moon actually revolve around us. Okay. So that's what you believe? Yes, very much so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's actually called ze geocentricity, like a geocentric model, where right now what the school here teaches mm -hmm. is a heliocentric model. Mm -hmm which is actually broken down into the occult as sun worship. Which is why we go around the sun. You know, so it's like we're paying homage to the sun. But in the geocentric model, we are special. We are created on a flat plane that might be infinite. You know, I just use this illustration as Antarctica being the outer ring. You know, but it may be an infinite plane with unlimited resources, land, and water for everybody. Does that make sense? Okay. And so if they were to limit us on just a globe that's 25,000 miles in, in radius, wouldn't that make us feel like, wow, we really do have to take care of Earth. Global warming might be real, but what if we live on an infinite plane? Wouldn't that possibly get us away from that idea of global warming? And so you think that the step to do that is to get more people to believe in that, realize that, and so then we'd have to explore and adventure to get to those other Yeah, sure. Uh -huh. um, and yeah, I mean, one idea is to get people on an idea mm -hmm. that geocentric model is true, mm -hmm. because there's more proof of that than there are that we're actually spinning, because I don't feel us spinning right now, personally. So how many scientists support well, there's a lot of scientists who support it, but the mainstream science out there, like I was just at the Science Museum today, you know, they have a, an exhibit called Destination Space that's propagating outer space as real, and guess what? The whole entire film is CGI. You know, so they're using CGI to create in a young person's imagination where we're supposed to be living, where they want us to believe that we live, and it just stays with us forever. You know, so I just started understanding this within the last 18 months. Mm -hmm. It's kind of amazing to think then that so many people are together on this helio centric yeah. idea. Mm -hmm. Just because a lot of different countries, we don't get along, we have opposing views, different right. types of leadership, and so it's interesting to think that those different types of leaderships and governments mm -hmm. support this. 
yeah, it is a massive, what most people would say, a secret society mm -hmm. to get people like us who go to public school because mm -hmm. the elites would never send their kids to a public school. Mm -hmm. Like, that would be out of the question because mm -hmm. they're a different bloodline than us. They're on a different frequency level. Mm -hmm. You know, so when they're shown the truth about us living on a flat plane and where we live, mm -hmm. and then they give all the kids here at this public school a lie about heliocentrism, wouldn't that keep people from knowledge of the truth and at a different kind of frequency level than everybody else? Mm -hmm. You know, so, I don't know. I hope I had brought some new information to you and... You can kind of research it yourself, Flat Earth, and just see why it's become so popular in the last two or three years. Definitely going to look up more pictures now on satellites and everything. Yeah, and just use your discernment on, you know, what looks CGI and what looks real. Because if they want to give us real pictures of Earth, yeah. why are all the continents different sizes yeah. on all of them? Mm -hmm. That's all. I mean, yeah. so, and check out the ISS live stream, too. I don't know if you've ever seen that on YouTube live. No. Um, if you believe satellites are real, then you should be able to see a satellite during the ISS stream, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. I never have. Okay. I've never seen one. Mm -hmm. And then people will give me the response of, well, the Earth is so big, of course you're not going to see a satellite because satellites are so small. Mm -hmm. And then I say, I understand where you're coming from, but why is it that you can see a satellite so easily from the ground and you see that light going by. Yeah. But if I watch the ISS live stream, I don't see one. Yeah. Interesting. So, yeah. so yeah, just use discernment. Mm -hmm. That's all I just encourage you with. And okay. hopefully you don't have any cavities. Oh, I can't actually. Oh, you can? Oh, no. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you. Yeah, no, sure. Thanks yeah. for listening. And I appreciate yeah. your time. Uh -huh. Yeah. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. Thanks. All right, well, I'm supposed to stay here longer, I guess. I still have one more bag of M&Ms burning a hole in my pocket. <coughs> yeah, what size is it, man? I don't know either. These are all CGI, man. Everything NASA gives us is CGI. You're living in a lie, man. I don't know either. <clears throat> How you guys doing? Hey. hey. Left. Your left or my left? <laughs> that one? Yeah. Are you sure? My best guess. Okay, well they're both pictures from NASA and they're both CGI. Really? Yeah, so both of these are CGI. So we really don't know actually. So we honestly don't know unless we're actually out there? Well we can't get out there because nobody's been to outer space because it's not real. Oh, okay. So you, do you believe that satellites and all I that stuff? I actually work with NASA, so... You do? Yeah. Okay, awesome. I did work with them this past semester. So. Okay, great. And so you've seen a satellite in space and everything? Mm -hmm. Okay. Does it look anything like this guy? Mm -mm. It looks like um, it's a little bit bigger than the International Space Station. So like this? No? Because these are both representations of a satellite. Mm -hmm. This is supposed to be in space and it's CGI though. Yeah, that's. I have not seen that. Okay, this is Viasat. This is going to be released on June 1st. So they're telling you and showing you in your imagination what a satellite is going to look like in space. Mm -hmm before it's even launched to give you the idea that it's true mm -hmm. when in actuality it's false. Can I ask your opinion on something? I, yeah, totally. Um, what do you think about the Black Knight satellite then? Uh, it's fraud, yeah. Really? Yep. Okay. It's all CGI, man. Well, I'm just saying because that's what Tesla recorded. That was like one of sure. the first things he recorded with yeah. his, his extremely advanced technology. Yep. Yep. You don't learn about Tesla here, do you? No. No. <laughs> no you exactly. That on your own. Yeah, and I totally understand where you're coming from yeah. about Tesla, and I encourage a lot of people to look up stuff about Tesla. Yeah. Whether he was a real, in fact, person or not, mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I mean, maybe it was somebody that they call Tesla, but it was just somebody else named a different name, mm -hmm. 
but through Gematria, they call him Nikola Tesla. Tesla. I don't know if you're familiar with Gematria no, or anything. Can you get a quick definition. Yeah, it's basically the uh, turning numbers into words and vice versa. Oh. And so, for example, you'll see a lot of number 33s mm -hmm. in like news headlines and whatnot, like 33,000 emails taken by Hillary Clinton. Mm -hmm. So the coincidence with the number 33 is that's the highest rank in the Scottish rite of Freemasonry. Yeah, 33rd degree. Yep. So you'll see the number 33 in different ways. Are and that's yeah, and that's kind of like how the establishment kind of stamps their okay. approval on a news article. Do you think Freemasons are in charge of NASA? Uh, I think that all of them, all of the astronauts were Freemasons oh, yeah. and they spout it. They, they have no problem saying that they weren't because yeah. they wear their rings and stuff. Definitely. We're actually getting somewhere, but thanks for giving me yeah, something to think about. Sure, man. yeah. I just guys can split those <laughs> thank you Have and uh, yeah research flat earth man yeah for sure man thanks and geocentrism all right all right man you guys have a good one yeah. thanks huh. <clears throat> all right he was somewhat awake you know and it's also just kind of how do i say this you know, a lot of times, like, when you're young and you're kind of researching stuff on your own that a lot of your friends wouldn't agree with, but you don't tell them because you don't want to be ostracized from friends and family. <coughs> I think that's another thing that's encouraging for this movement is to get people to reinvestigate things that they came across in the last year or two. You know, just kind of reinforcing that you know yeah those crazy conspiracy theories you know but if you actually google or YouTube conspiracy theories found out to be true you'll actually come across a lot of information regarding the establishment hiding knowledge and events from us and then later bringing them out as true. You know, if you believe that we were really looking for weapons of mass destruction during 9-11 and that's why we went there, then you have not seen George Bush Jr. laugh about how we never found weapons of mass destruction at a White House dinner party and he laughs about it. People died. And then 14, 15 years later, they can joke about it. So I know, right? Yeah. She worked at NASA, though. You know? She worked at NASA. So that means it's true, right? And so it's just, re I guess what I'm trying to say is it's, it's re-sparking people's interest in alternative thought going against the grain going against what the majority of people grew up knowing right being taught is more like it and remembering and so when your subconscious feels uncomfortable talking about my, the topics that I talk about and you don't agree with them then that would lead you to a feeling of slavery to the establishment because you're afraid of them. You know, you're afraid to go against what they tell you on the news and what they taught you in school. But it's okay for people to believe in a guy who lived a perfect life, was born of a virgin did miracles, was killed, rose from the dead three days later, and now is physically alive with God. Like, that doesn't sound crazy, but flat earth is crazy, right? Everything that we're taught growing up about outer space and science and stuff, that's true, but it's faith to believe in a God, right? 
science and numbers are true because I grew up with the already preconceived notion of authority in my subconscious <coughs> and the trust that you give them. <clears throat> and all I'm saying is just question what they tell us. Question what they've told us about outer space and where we live and how they're proving to us where we live and how we got here. Because usually if the majority all believe one thing, I don't know if that's the, the type of crowd you want to hang out with during the end times. And so it was a good day today. I just want to thank everybody for stopping by earlier today. I really felt called to hang out at the Science Museum before that exhibit in the Omni Theater was going to go off called Destination Space. Destination False Fallacy Lies Deception. That's what it should be called. Even if you called it that, people would still go because in Southeast Asia, they put what happens to your face, your teeth, and your lungs on cartons of cigarettes and tobacco. But people still buy them, you know? People will still buy it, you know? So even if you told people the truth about what they're going to see, they're still so entrenched in this reality that they would never cross their mind. I want to show you these guys here. Just hanging out. Hanging out, playing your good old beanbag toss. So... I don't know guys, I just, I really appreciate everybody watching, you know, it's not the most exciting thing that I do, but I try to, I'm trying to be a little bit more intentional about what I'm doing, I just got to kind of set the feelers out, I don't want to scare people away either, you know, just want to allow people to, it's a touchy subject, you know. You just gotta be patient with people. You can't ever, you can't expect everybody to be at your level right now if you are a flat earther. And if they want to remain ignorant, then what do you, you can't. Now you know how I feel when I first became a Christian and I was telling everybody about Jesus, right? I had bumper stickers all over my car and stuff. It took me a while to calm down, you know, but. You know, in a way, it's kind of interesting, it's kind of similar. You know, you're out here evangelizing people to flat earth, and then hopefully they catch on. You know, hopefully something grabs them where they're going to seek and go down that bunny trail. Because there is a flood of knowledge coming through right now. You know, I really feel like God is allowing truth to come out <coughs> whether it be controlled or not it's still truth <clears throat> that's coming out and so maybe it's the <clears throat> maybe it's the establishment feeling like they got to tell us what's going on you know so that their conscience can be cleared be like okay we'll review flat earth see how many people go along with it and clearly people are under severe MK Ultra mind control that they will never go away from science and if you the sooner that you can admit that science is a religion and gravity is a god then you can move on okay but i know it's hard for people who believe in science so much 
and not at all the flat earth, that you're caught in a religion. And we were at one of their temples this morning. I actually drove by the Church of Scientology when I was downtown St. Paul. It was massive. I think it was where the old science museum used to be, coincidentally enough, right? Church of Scientology, I felt uncomfortable driving by it. I even felt more uncomfortable when a, a part of me was so bold to think, hey, we should stand out in front of here. And I was like, no, because I think Church of Scientology is worse than Freemasons. I would probably definitely get into a car accident if I trolled them. So we'll step back from the Church of Scientology for sure. But I did drive by and I felt really uncomfortable. <clears throat> so, I don't know, that's kind of, that's really all I want. I just want to encourage people to just keep pressing forward. Don't listen to the detractors. You're going to have people left and right tell you that you're crazy or you're wasting your time and they don't care to hear about it, but someday they'll know why they're hearing about it. You know, we're just a warning shot for them. And I just encourage, you know, everybody and anybody, just look into geocentric. Geocentric model. Flat Earth model. 200 proofs. We do not live on a spinning ball. Flat Earth clues. You know, there's so much information out there that you can use your own discernment and tell whether or not what is being displayed is truth and go from there. You know, even if you you know me personally and, and you're wondering why I do this regularly, I hope that helps give you some idea of how serious a topic I think that this is. So I'm probably going to take tomorrow off, most likely, and just going to hang out with some family and stuff. And of course we're not going to do anything on Monday because I don't want to have a case of the Mondays. Lumberg can shove it. And I'll try to come back out on Tuesday or Wednesday with a refreshed attitude about everything. I mean, it's just always, you're just having to constantly keep yourself in a positive attitude. You know, because if you're not, you know, constantly, I mean, because you're surrounded by evil. You know, you're always investigating how evil NASA is, how evil all these places and people are. You got to get grounded with friends and family just to kind of give you that, you know, Evenness. I mean, the good and the bad. I mean, it's, it's the majority of it is bad, but, you know, if you're a Bible reader, read the Bible for encouragement. Um, step back for a while, take a couple days break from YouTube or Facebook and just kind of reset. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, if you're, if you're actively and openly seeking truth, it can be very overwhelming and it can take out a lot out of you. So just take a break, you know, for a couple days. Um, eat some good food. But I really appreciate everybody stopping by. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Just let people know that there is a movement going on. And uh, I want to be a part of it. I hope you do too. Joshua, Authentic Intent, signing off, guys. Let's talk to you later.